See you on your way back. Yep. See the one you went after? Mm-hmm. Where are you taking her to? You tell him, Mr. Regan. Why don't you? I knew that woman was a criminal. The man with her is the police officer. Oh, don't mind me. I don't mind you, but I don't like to travel in the same box as you travel. That'll be enough out of you. Well, I... Hey, do you know who I am? Uh, who cares? Oh, folks. Well, I can't. What? Please, police. We've all got to travel together. Let's all be friends. Me a friend of that? Oh, why don't you pipe down? Try and make me. Well, folks, if you'll all hop aboard, we'll be on our way. My, isn't it cold? Yes, it's too cold. Everything's wrong. Now, well, certainly we'll be glad when we reach the railroad. I'm oh, 35 gallons. Oh, oh, shut up, get in. Just well, I'll get, get in as soon as I'm ready. And you too. You don't mean to say you're going to try to go on. Why, certainly. This ain't nothing to when I run out of Duluth. Well, don't ever say I didn't warn you. Okay, Pete. So long. I'll make it.
Won't you have a piece of candy? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm sorry, baby. I would like a piece. You let me change my mind. Surely. Thanks. That's the spirit. Don't be so busy with your hands. <laughs> you sure are a funny kid. Hey, driver. Can't you be a little bit more careful? Please. Don't worry, mister. Your estate with me is a babe that be in its mother's arms. Hey, Gus, get off the comedy, will you, and keep your eyes on the road? I say, driver, are you sure this road is perfectly safe? Do you know it's a perfect outrage if there isn't a railroad through this part of the country? I can't stand it. It's frightful. You're safer with me than you'd be on any railroad, mister. Why, when I ran out of Duluth... You mean when they ran you out of Duluth? <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, would it bother you very much if I smoke? Certainly not. Thank you. You don't mind, do you? No. Give me a cigarette, will you? I'm sorry I don't smoke it. Smoke? Thanks, kid. You're all right. I think you ought to turn back. It's getting worse. It's all right. We'll get through all right. Yes, we will. The gust in his butt, and he'll get you through. And here we are. Yeah, and here we are. Says that we're not going any further than this. Well, not for a little while yet. Well, what am I going to do? I've got to get to North Fork to, to reach the Limited. Well, what are you going to do about it? What are we going to do? How far is it to the nearest town? Oh, not very far. Only about 40 miles. Looks like a house over there. Where? Must be a schoolhouse. Or a church. Well, how far is that, do you suppose? Oh, not very far. No, I think we'd better make for it. it. Looks to me like there was a storm coming up. And if we stay around here, we'd all freeze. Come on, let's go. It's frozen now. Let's get out of here. Good idea, I guess, so. A nice way to treat passions on your own. But I must say, it's perfectly outrageous. Oh, kid. Don't let it lick you. Oh, I must say. Good thing we have much further to go. 
You're right. Everybody's about all in. I, I, I don't think I'll be able to make it. We'll be there in a minute. Well, don't give up now. Folks, it'll be all right. You know, when I ran out of Duluth, oh, why don't you shut up? You take a hat off, you fathead. You're in church now, not at home. Oh. And that goes for you, too. I wouldn't get so close to that fire if I were you. And look out for children. I'll listen. Yeah, you would. Shut the door. Shut the door. Did you say you must be somebody here to fire with me, bud. Hey, what? what the heck? What the... Hey, you, shut the door, will you? Oh, yes, pardon me. <laughs> I forgot to shut the door. Well, I didn't know this was Sunday. Why the congregation? Why, well, we had an accident. The bus broke down. And it was due to the carelessness of that. Well, you see, it was like this. We thought we could make it to North Fork to get the trade. This was pretty heavy, and we flung off the road. Well, here we are. How far'd you get? Oh, a couple of miles out in the flats. Oh, just a couple of miles out in the flats, huh? Yep. Well, you had a pretty close call. And you ain't out of it yet. Oh, that's all right, folks. Leave it to me. Leave it to you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pollyanna, you certainly did a good job of it. Oh, you're the driver, eh? Yeah, that's me. Smile and Gus Engstrom. Always bring him in safe. You start out on that trip? When this big storm's coming up? Why, for sure. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, I shall certainly write the president of the stage line and inform him of what has occurred. I'll hold things unheard of. And, uh, how did you get here, may I ask? This ain't your regular home, is it? No, not regular. I just sort of dropped in here. You mean you're a hobo? Certainly. What are you? Well, my name is Jane Milton Hendrickson, if you must know, and I'm the fifth vice president of the Citizen Trust. That's it, right. I had him picked for a big guy all the time. Yeah, I bought 225 pounds worth. How's business? <coughs> oh, buddy. You're nice and plump, ain't you? That's me, sir. My own gun. And that's my mother. Laugh and grow fat. Mm-hmm. Well, right here's where you start your diet, boy. You can starve them to death as far as I'm concerned. Hey, put that down. You hear me? You ain't deaf, are you? Put that down. What for? I'm hungry. Listen, let's not have any arguments, please. Just do what I'm telling you. My dear man, don't worry. I'll pay you for these. With what? Right here. Look at that. Put that down or I'll flatten you. Oh, now, gentlemen, gentlemen, please, please. You know there's a law in this country to protect its citizens from rough ends like you, Wyatt. Oh, yeah? Why don't you call a cop? Go on, blow your whistle. Listen, 
You're a long ways from a cop, so pipe down. How far from a cop? Listen, buddy. That gag don't mean no more to me than his dough does. So don't start nothing. No. No. I suppose you think you're going to flatten me, too. Huh? Well, eat it and find out. Ah, oh, folks, 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 please, don't let's have no more trouble. Here we are all nice and cozy and homey. Now, let's kiss and make up. What do you say? All right, sunshine. I will if he will. <laughs> you want another one? Now, folks, please, please. Please. Will you please stop fighting and get me something to eat? Now, there you are. That's the first sensible thing that's been said since you've been here. Now, will you all listen and get some sense? See that food? As far as you're concerned, that's all the food there is in the world. And it's mine. You don't mean to say you're going to let us stop. Keep it there. Ah, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's wait till it gets through. Now, listen. I'm going to split with you. But remember this. That may have to last us 10 days or more. Do you get that? Oh, you can't keep me here that long. 10 days? No. No. But I've got no, to get listen, home. My folks are expecting me. Folks, I can get you through if you'll only let me. Well, when I run out of Duluth... Uh, listen, buddy, you ain't in Duluth. Uh, do you mean to... Uh, here, I'd like to talk. Yeah? You seem to be a pretty wise guy. Just talk to your sister. Pretty sir. And uh, you figure we're going to be here for a 10-day stretch? Well, I don't know just what stretch means, but we're going to be here for 10 days or more. Oh, you don't know what stretch means. Never heard of it. Uh. Local girl gets straight. 10 days before I join the old folks at Auburn. What Auburn? Is there more than one? Oh, so you're the big, brave man that takes naughty little girls back to the pen, huh? Yep, I'm the boy, and I always get them. Mm -hmm. I generally finish what I start out to do. Well, ain't that dandy. Uh, and I'm not surprised if I have to see you someplace before. Well, maybe you have. Who can tell? Maybe one of these days I'll be taking you home to room. Maybe you will. Maybe I will. Maybe. Maybe. So you've been over the bump, huh? Plenty. What's your name? Billy. Billy what? That's enough for you. What's yours? Bill. Bill what? That's enough for you. Well, we'll get along, big boy. You're all right, baby. Yes, sir, you're all right. Cheer up, mister. It'll be all right. We'll get out of here someday. Hey, I'll sing you a little song. Cheer you up, huh? Nice. My mother was a lady, and that you will allow. And you may have a sister who needs protection now. I came to this big city to seek my brother dear. You 
you would not dare insult me, sir, if Jack were only here. <clears throat> Say, Bluebird, don't you know any old ones? Yeah, I must know a lot of them. You want to hear one? Oh, all right. Okay. May it pleasure and power so we may roam. Ah, dry up, will you? Shut up, Carson, for heaven's sake. I can't stand it. Well, the mic will give us all a willy. That's right, I was just thinking. I think we got a, a lot to be thankful for. It might be a lot worse. Yeah, we might all have been twins. Yeah, that's right. What's the idea? Ten days rations out of five, that's the idea. Boy, gee. Well, it's nourishing food anyway. Dumpty mobs I've ever seen in my life. You birds take all the blue ribbons. Look at this place. Looks like a lousy hog waller. Why don't you get up and do something? Say, I know. It's a football coach. Stop clowning and get some pep, will you? He's right. You can at least go outside and get a breath of fresh air. Sure, we get out and get the old blood running. Come on, Whitey, let's get going. You go ahead, General Pershing. I'm very comfortable. Listen, come on, unwind yourself and get out of there, will you? If we don't get some exercise, we're going to all go screw it. All right, you great, big, enormous man. If you insist upon being barrel, I'll have to give in. Give me a skin. I must recommend this diet to my girlfriends in the Junior League. We have such a time with our figures. Yeah. Hey. That goes for you birds, too. You know, the girls won't play rough. Come on, off the lead. And as it gets to the point where we have to eat each other, I know who I'm going to pick on first. Did he mean me? Sure he did. And if you're as tough as you're dumb, you'll make a lousy meal, I can say that. I hope so. <laughs> hey, sir? Yeah? How was your help? Me? Oh, I'm 100%. You're all right, are you? Yeah. That's fine. I think I can use you for dessert. Hey, what? Say, you can't do that now. No, you heard Oh, me. no, but listen, say. No. I wasn't kidding you. Oh, you wouldn't do that to me, Dan. Come on, outside. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Careful. 
Johnny. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did the big fat guy get out of here? Look at him standing up there. Here we go now. Isn't that fun? You liable to get all tired out doing that? That's a lot better than sitting around that old church, isn't it? Oh. I... Oh. If you drop me. I'm not going to drop you. I'm not going to let you fall. Don't worry. Don't you let me go. I'm not going to. Here we go. <laughs> That's better than sitting around that old church. Holy. Oh. 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 Hey, what's the idea, you big, hard head? Hey. Keep your dirty hands off that dame. For who? For me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Look to me, brother, that we're going to be stuck around here for quite a while. And before we get out of this place, you and I are going through it just as sure as... Well, the sooner the better. I never did like cops anyhow. Yeah, I could see that in a minute. I want you to lay off this kid, though. I suppose you think she's your dame. Well, maybe she is and maybe she ain't. If that's any of your business, maybe. Maybe. Listen, you bird. The both of you. I ain't nobody's dame. Get back. Help! 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 Ah, <laughs> uh, 
shut up, all of you. Save that strength. You'll probably need a little later. I didn't say she wasn't, did I? Never mind the stalling. You do what I tell you. Keep away from her. Well, but I was only... I helping. saw what you were doing. You don't have to explain to me. Oh, I see. Oh, you do, huh? Sure, plenty. Well, you listen to what I told you. Well, what are you getting all excited about? Didn't you just tell us down there on the lake that you wasn't nobody's name? Hmm? Well... Well... Can a dame change her mind? Keep your dirty hands off that girl. Yeah? Yeah. And I'm thinking that if she needs a nurse to... <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the fella, see? Mm-hmm. And she's my prisoner. Until I get a receipt for her. 
Ain't you a fine excuse for a man? Mr. Egan the Bull. Mr. Egan will have his name in the papers, huh? You lousy hood, you. He brought back a notorious bandit. Mr. Egan always gets his girl. Hey, you ever try bringing a man back? Hey, listen. If it wasn't for those two dames being asleep there, I'd mop up the floor with you so fast you'd... Mm-hmm. And you were taking her back for another year in that pen, huh? Maybe two for jailbreaking. Mr. Egan, the bloodhound. Ain't he proud of himself? Go ahead, fella. Rub it in. Rub it in good. Just the copper who stuck on his prisoner, huh? Now, listen, boy, there's two of us now. I'll drill a hole through you. If you lay your hands on that kid. Well, now, maybe she'll have something to say about that. Maybe she will. Well, now we know where we stand on that, don't we? <laughs> I guess we do. And you're a long ways from having that kid back in that pen, Mr. Egan. And maybe by the time we'll get out of here, I'm not so sure that I won't be taking you both back. Get that? <laughs> Listen, we're just as close to the pen now as we're ever going to be. Do you get that? Maybe. And this time, I don't mean maybe. Oh. Yeah.
the street. She said she wasn't hungry, but this is what she eats. A dozen raw, a plate of slaw, a chicken and some roast, some applesauce, asparagus, and soft shell crabs on toast. An oyster stew, some crackers too, I sure was out of luck. When she called for pie, I thought that I'd die, for I only had half a buck. Ain't that a fine thing to sing? Why didn't you, you sing that mention... before we run out of food? Mary's song, may I? Is that the best you can do? If I'd known he was going to sing that, I'd have never played for him. Maybe the world to your mother, Cutty, but... Just me a pain in the neck to leave. Well, come on, Dan. I ain't ever seen a copper yet that didn't think he had a great voice. Think something about the uh, iron bars do not a prison make. <laughs> You'll be hearing a lot more of that, me lad, before we get through. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've all been a turn. I guess it's up to me. You know, my mother used to think I had a fine singing voice. So I'll do my turn. Let's see, father was a cop and... Well, hey, kid, you know this one? You're just a lousy dick. <laughs> I'll tell you something, why did it? I ain't ever told anybody. 
You think I'm a hobo, don't you? Well, I'm more, too. I'm hiding out right now. You're kidding. No, there ain't no such luck. They want me now back in St. Paul. So we're in the same boat. Well, that ought to make things a little different then. I guess so. Well, what do you want, buddy? What are you two doing? Playing post office? Well, if we was, there wouldn't be no letter for you. Come on, kid. 
now. Come on, get together. <laughs> as much right to my man as she has ever loved. How's the nerve, kid? All right, but the cold going right through me. Come on now, keep the old pep up. We'll get warmed up in a minute. You've got to forget her, too. we got enough troubles of our own now. I'll say, but I can't forget that kid's face. Well, the way I'm thinking, it's, it's either her or us. Oh, they can take care of her. She don't mean anything to us. Uh, I'm with you, darling. Oh, I 
right. Uh, right. Never mind that. Uh, Mr. Hollis, Mr. Hollis, what something out there last night in the snow. And we ain't gonna lose it. You and me's got time to do. And we're gonna do it. And that's the fact. After that, we're going on, but together.
Then, uh, you dropped your papers. If you don't mind, you can just drop me off in St. Paul. <laughs> 